How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Trendy Talks. My name is Andrew Cogswell, and today I'm going to be reviewing Quest of Dungeons on the PlayStation 4. Um, for those of you who have heard Quest of Dungeons, it's actually been released on other systems, Wii U, 3DS, and all that, uh, Steam. But it's finally here on the PlayStation 4. I've been waiting for this. Uh, the developer said it was going to be coming, so I just held out. I was really excited about it. Uh, it's our first indie game that we're reviewing, uh, other than Mountain Blade, which, um, I don't know, is that indie? I don't know. Anyway, um... Yeah, so Quest of Dungeons, let's get to it. Quest of Dungeons is a roguelite, uh, turn-based dungeon crawler. Uh, it features four different classes, actually five if you unlock the fifth one. Uh, and they all play very differently, which is one of the things that really makes Quest of Dungeons fun, is the replayability. Uh, all these heroes play very differently. The dungeons are randomly generated every time, along with loot and stuff like that. So there's a lot of... Just you can just grind. You can just play and play and play and play, and it's always gonna be different. Um, it's a lot of fun. I personally prefer the assassin. I feel like it's he's kind of easy to play as, which is good for me because I'm not very good at the game, uh, and I like his being able not being right up against the enemies. The amount of abilities in the game also really uh, help with replayability. Every hero unlocks different abilities by finding ability tombs, and it makes it fun. And the, the abilities you learn are random; it's not like a set order, so that's also fun. So I was playing uh, last night, and I found a bunch of new abilities I'd never seen before. So it's a lot of fun to uh, the surprise every time with the abilities, and also, like I said, the randomly generated loot. The game itself is really pretty, especially for a 16-bit game. It's very, uh, very much homage to classic retro games it looks great it plays fairly well uh, i noticed a couple frame rate drops where i was trying to move and then it stopped moving and also that was where i was supposed to be so that was weird especially in a turn-based um fighting situation other than that like the game runs really well like i said it's very beautiful the music is good um it some of it seems out of place uh, depending on different what floor of the dungeon you're on, the music changes, and yeah, some of it just seems weird. Uh, but overall, I really like the music. It's fun. It's kind of creepy. Um, but yeah, every once in a while, a track is just like, mm, I wouldn't have gone with that. The combat itself is really engaging with the use of the abilities and the different play styles for the heroes. Um, from those of you who are trying to kind of imagine what this would be, a turn-based uh, roguelite dungeon crawler, think of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games that Nintendo puts out all the time. Um, it's very similar to that. You move, they move, they attack, you attack. Um, you try to like outmaneuver each other um, so you don't get hit and die. So yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, You can't just blow through it unless you're on a lower level uh, or a lower or higher floor, I guess with a high level character, um, it just doesn't work. You need to be patient and you need to think about it, but at lower difficulty levels, it's not so much that you can't just play just to enjoy it. It's not as stressful as it could be, which really, once again, is great for just a pick up and play kind of experience and the replayability. Um, I wish this was on Vita. I know the developer said, you know, he's one guy made this whole game, which shout out to that because that's amazing for how good this game is. Um, he said that he funds all this out of his own pocket. So Vita would not be an option right now. Um, depends on how the PS4 version does. This would be the perfect game for Vita. I can see why it came to 3DS and Wii U first. Um, this is a great game to just pick up and go. It'd be great for traveling and airports and stuff like that. Overall, I give Quest of Dungeons uh, a 9 out of 10. Uh, for what it is, it's a little indie game. It's 9 bucks on the network. Totally worth it. A lot. My only problems with it were the occasional frame rate drop and some of the music is questionable at best. Um, but overall, Quest of Dungeons is a great little light experience. If you're into that sort of thing, I would highly recommend it. Go check it out. Super cheap on the network. Totally worth the nine bucks. Uh, but yeah, that was the review for Quest of Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll be back in February with a bunch of different game reviews. We got For Honor. We got Horizon Zero Dawn. It's going to be a great year for games and movies and all that. So stay tuned for more of those. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe here on YouTube. Go give us a like on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle should have popped up at the beginning of the episode. So go follow me. I talk about video games a lot. It's fun. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.